Okay, so we are asked if 4x squared y is equivalent to 4y x squared. So one way to show that they are equivalent is if you know about the commutative property. So in short, the commutative property tells us that if we're multiplying, which in this problem we are multiplying, because a 4 next to an x, that means multiply, and x squared next to y, that means multiply, since we're multiplying, um, we have the commutative property for multiplication that says that when you multiply, like 4 times 5 is 20, well, so is 5 times 4. It's still 20. So that's what the commutative property tells us. It just states that we could switch the order. So in this problem here, if I break this up, it looks like this. We have a 4, and then x squared looks like this. And then we have a y. Okay, in this problem we have a 4 next to a y, so that means multiply. And then we have x squared. So these are equivalent because typically when we write a variable expression, we write it in alphabetical order. So this particular one just isn't written in alphabetical order. So if we were to, we're allowed to move these x's right here. We can move them here, and then we can move the y at the end because the order when we multiply doesn't matter. So that's how we know that these are equal. Another way, since these are variable expressions, we could go ahead and um, let x and y be numbers. And so um, let's say I'm going to have x, I'm going to replace the x's with, I'm going to go with 3, and I'm going to let y be 2. And if these are equivalent, like we say they are, they should equal, when we evaluate both expressions, they should be the same value. So if we take a look here, If we do order of operations, we would multiply first, so that would be 9. And then if we have 4 times 9, that's 36. And 36 times 2 is 72. So now if we do that same thing here, order of operations, we're still doing the 3 squared first. And then here we would have 8 times 9, which is 72. So as we can see, they're the same. So that therefore their expressions are equivalent.